go out and try to photograph the Milky Way in the morning. So I was going to go over just my basic equipment and some of my settings um, before I go out and show you what I use. Now, by no means am I a professional. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below of the one channel that I watch uh, that he's helped me quite a bit on learning how to set up my cameras. So these are the three, my three basic cameras that I use. I have the Nikon, and this is the one that I use for all of the night shots. I have my bridge camera, the Panasonic Lumix, but I tried it a few last week and it just doesn't do good uh, with night, night shots. It's a good camera, um, but I prefer the Nikon for this. And then I have the GoPro, and I'll show you a little bit more of that here in a second. So basically, on the Nikon, these are going to be my, my settings. You can see that. It's really sunny and bright today. I'm going to use a 10 second shutter speed. The largest aperture at 2.8 that I have. Uh, ISO 6400. And white balance. Oop, it changed it. White balance I want. Hang on. Yep, white balance I want uh, 4,000, somewhere in that range. So it's set. And let's see, I also see in 10 second shutter speed. I'll have it in manual, which you change over down here. And I'm gonna be using my 17 millimeter at set at infinity. And, I t and that tends to do really good for the camera that I have. Now, it also does very well, um, let me show you, at doing time lapse, and I'll have some samples coming up later in the video. By using, I, can, I use the interval timer if I wanna do some photo stacking, plus this camera, let me go down here. Interval timer and time lapse. And I have it, to, it'll take one every two seconds with the settings I already have with the 10 second shutter speed. Now, in my area, the, the um, Milky Way, I can only see it between 2 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. before the sun starts to come up. So that's my window if it's a clear night or clear morning. So right now there's quite a bit of clouds, but according to the weatherman, it's supposed to clear up uh, by morning. So I'll ch double check it when I get up. Okay. So the Lumix, I'm just taking it with because I always take it with. Now, the GoPro, I'm going to switch cameras here and show you what settings I've been using with my GoPro. All right, so this is my GoPro 7, and I use it. It actually works really well even for night lapse of the Milky Way. And I'm going to show you the, the settings that I've learned to use, and they are changeable. I change them depending on the light of the moon or any light noise that you might have in the area. I'm going to use night lapse. It's set at night lapse with a 30 second shutter speed. Interval is auto. Linear view. ISO minimum and maximum should be the same. I use 800 or 1600. Now in this one, the white balance, you can't change it from 5500K. I've read that other people have had the same issue, so it must be something with the GoPro 7. 
and then you want your sharpness on medium and color flat and I'll be showing you a video coming up from the GoPro and the Nikon and of course I have my two camera bags I always take a flashlight or two to go with and uh, I'm gonna charge all my batteries tonight and I'll be ready to go So this video is the GoPro. You can see the shooting stars. It's a little bit darker. You might have to turn the lights down behind you. Now I only have a couple hours to take video when I'm doing the, the Milky Way. And if you use the, the program Star Stacks, you can take all your photos and it'll stack them for you to show a pattern of which way the stars are moving like this photo here. This photo contains 70 individual photos. Now it's about 3 a.m. and I'm gonna go out to a lake to do something different. And this is how dark it is where I'm at. I turn on my spotlight just so I can see a little bit better. There is hardly any white noise out here. Next will be the the videos of the Milky Way, along with a few photos at the end. 